How the heck are everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome back to my channel. We have some big, big news in Watcher of Realms. As you can see, I have a guest. We have Ray from the Dragon Slayer community. You want to say hi, Ray? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for having me back, Fast. Thanks so much for joining us. We need you today because we have news <laughs> that I thought, I've been teasing it in streams and stuff. I thought it was coming in like two or three weeks and then we'd have some time for this. It is coming this Friday. So let's pop open the notice and we've got the Crawling Dark event. So right now it is November the 6th. This is going to arrive on November the 10th. Uh, so we're gonna hand this over to Ray in just one second. We're gonna do something pretty fun. But I just wanna start by saying, if you're familiar with the Captain Reeve Trevor Treasures in the Deep event, it's quite similar to that in that we have a 250 summon guaranteed exclusive hero banner, and then there's a whole event and another 10X banner that comes along with it. So we're not gonna stay on my server. We're not gonna go to the test server. Stick with us. We're going over to the Forerunner server to go to the Crazy Ray account. Be there in a sec. So here we are on the Forerunner server on probably the most impressive account many of you have ever seen. 7.8 million BP, Mr. Ray. Tell us about this uh, event. Actually, very quickly, let me just say, Ray is gonna lead the charge for this first half of the video. Then we're gonna say goodbye to Ray. And then I'm gonna do, actually hop onto the actual test server, the Tessidious test server. And I will do a little mini spotlight on Falsia and I'll give my first impressions. But first and foremost, Ray, tell me about the, the Crawling Dark event and tell me about Falsia. Tell me about everything that's been happening on Forerunner the past week. Uh, well, to be, to be perfectly fair, I've been a lot of focus on my global account, but I have, uh, done a lot of stuff on this uh, Forerunner server in the last week. Um, yeah, this uh, this this event is... If you liked Captain Reeve event, you'll really enjoy this event. That's how, that's how I guess I'll start off. Um, the event is more for the up and coming accounts, I would say. I'd say like for, for myself and my biased perspective right now. Um, it was relatively simple for me. Uh, it didn't take very much effort. It was a quick five minute run, go through the whole shebang. So you basically start off uh, pretty similar to the Captain Reeve, where if you go into the story mode there, you'll start off on level one, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, and then you'll switch over to the hard modes. Um, very similar to the Captain Reeve, you'll have X amount of tokens to use up. I think it's five that you can go through. So your first day, you should be able to get to um, level five. Um, by the second day, you're doing level six and going into the hard modes. Um, relatively straightforward. Uh, like I said, it's very similar to the Captain Reeve event where you progress, progress, progress till you get to the final stage. And then it's more or less just a collection of coins for the redeem shop at that point. You want to talk us through this redeem shop really quickly? And for anyone who missed the Captain Reeve event, it was exactly like Ray saying, the same idea. So I'm quite interested the way you're describing it, because for me, I love the Captain Reeve event, but that hit on like day 30 for me or something. So it was probably like the perfect mm -hmm. time for me because it was like a nice challenge. Uh, I'm curious what it's going to be like now on day 90 something. Uh, but yeah, I want to take, how have you enjoyed the redeem shop? Looks like you bought a very special artifact, actually, it looks like. Yeah, so Celine's the artifact. Um, this this came out about a year ago, um, give or take. I uh, don't know the exact date, but it came out about a year ago. If you want to, I don't know if you want to go down and show Celine or it is on her. There you go. So this is super rare. Um, I really like it. I know Celine's not on global yet, but when it when she does get released, I think she's uh, going to be one of those. Um, kind of hit and miss for everyone type of hero. You're either gonna like her or hate her. Um, but her artifact does definitely give her a big boost. It's not um, only for her, you can use it on anyone. That's the nice thing about this, so. It's class exclusive, not hero exclusive, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, it it is a big boost for her. I. I tested it on her. I love the damage output from her. Um, I really only need her in my faction trial, so I do use her, but it's very limited use at the moment. Um, but yeah, like the uh, like I was saying, it's a very rare artifact, so I've only gotten two. Uh, there was potential to get three, and I just... I, I forget which event I could have got the other one in, but I just never went through with it and I didn't think much of it. I wish I would, <laughs> could go back now and actually uh, get that other artifact, but 
Um, so thus yeah, far, so this has only been available as like an event exclusive. Hundred percent. So I've only seen it three to nine today. Crazy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you only yeah. got the two out of the three, so you only have one level of promo. Very cool. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I just figured we could pull up Celine for a second because, and tell me if I'm wrong, I could be, but Celine was a fusion, right? Yeah. And she was right around like Christmas time last year. Yeah. And now it's yeah, November yeah, yeah. and we're getting her artifact on Global. Yeah, it would be nice to see Celine get released. I think I would like to have her on my Global account as well, but um, we'll see. Moonton has this funny way of releasing heroes. There's a lot of heroes that got released already that I was quite surprised with, but and some that I figured would have been out already, but For that's sure. how they're doing it. So I'm just trying to pick up the breadcrumbs here. She was like kind of the Christmas fusion last year. We haven't had a legendary fusion. Christmas is going to be like five months after launch. Is it time for our first legendary fusion? Is it going to be Celine? We're getting her artifact. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Anything else stand out to you in the shop? It looks like you had the similar thing to Reeve where you could buy more attempts or something. Looks like you did that. Yeah, so you'll build up the tokens pretty quickly as you go into the hard modes. Um, so I did buy the extra tokens just to do the uh, the rewards. So if you go out of this one, there is some rewards that you can get. Um, I think it's just above the redeem shop there. Oh, just above the redeem shop? Oh, dark challenges. Yeah, yeah cool. Oh, oh nice. You so, so you do get all these rewards. Builds up relatively fast, and you should be able to get pretty well whatever you want out of that out of that redeem shop. But um, obviously, I don't need Voroth. Um, he does have a new artifact that I've never used. Um, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not totally upset just because I don't use Voroth literally anywhere. Um, but it would be cool just to have it. So uh, it it for the new user or the new players, uh, Voroth is and can be a staple in your guild boss. So this would be something that I would chase if I was had a relatively new account or a lower end account. Yeah, I think the Voroth thing is very nice if you're like an early mid game player, and then it's kind of interesting to pair him with with uh, Falcia because Falcia is kind of like Voroth 5.0, right? Because she's got the specialized yeah. attack speed and the burst. Um, yeah, really cool. Seems a little pricey. If you guys remember, we had a Siren uh, for Captain Reeve, so this is a lot. I'm telling you, Voroth is way better. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I will say no auto battles here. That is a bummer. Uh, no, no legendary uh, skill crystals, but seems like a decent shop overall. Have you enjoyed the event, or it's just for you? It's kind of like it's there, but it's not not uh, blowing it, your mind. It's kind of there for me. I do enjoy the events. I do enjoy chasing the rewards and like picking up the the odds and ends that I can use in the game. So, like for example, the Celine's artifact there. Um, it is nice that they do these little things just to keep the upgrade going and it's something to chase for as long as I've been playing. There's not much that I chase after anymore, but when the special specialties come up, I, yeah. I tend to go out. Yeah, like if you're like a collector, super endgame, like you are right, like these Selene artifacts are probably one of the only rare occurrences for you, the rare things to acquire. Exactly, exactly. I want to highlight one more thing and then we'll let you go. It's like 3 or 4 a.m. where Ray is now, so he needs to get to work. Uh, but if you see here, it's hard to see people, but you can squint your eyes as perform 200 summons, you get a thousand of the currency. So it's very similar to Reeve in that like a great way to get tons of event currency is by going for that banner. So I was thinking we could just wrap up there and talk about the banner for like two seconds. Uh, do you have them both live now? So no. So, but did you have the same 10X that we had or just the, just the Felice, Falsia banner? Did you have the Aelin Calypso 10X? Uh, no. No, that we did not get that. So I don't think there's too many people on Forerunner server that even need either of those heroes. Yeah. Or, and if they do, it's maybe one or two copies, if that. Um, but Felicia, uh, she, uh, uh, I didn't get her the first time around. So this is the second time that she's come out on the Forerunner server. So that's, that's something to note. That's really that's really noteworthy, right? So for people like me, and I know a lot of people on my streams and stuff are like, when is Captain Reeve coming back? It sounds like one day he might come back, right? Because Falcia came twice yeah. now for you, so. Yeah, exactly. And the first time it wasn't a limited summons. It, it was, uh, it, I believe it was a 10X. I, I wanna say it was a 10X. I can't remember, it was so long ago, but 
Um, I actually summoned, 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 and I, like we spoke earlier, I, I literally got everything but her. So it was kind of disappointing, but I did, uh, it was kind of nice to just, you know, it took me 240 summons this time to get her, which was a bummer, but finally have her. So it's part of the collection. Can I now, ask, I leading up, and this will be my final question and I'll let you go, but you can see here she's in the general summoning pool. Is she always in the general summoning pool? Yeah, okay, yeah she has been since the first release. So, but so again, like I've done a lot of summons and I've it just never pulled Super it. Super rare, yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to know how many summons Ray has done, we were just chatting about this before we started filming. Uh, there's no summon rewards here uh, because he maxed it out and it disappeared. <laughs> so that was about 10,000 summons ago or something, right? <laughs> yeah, we're... we're I, I would love for Moonton to actually send me something on this because I, I'm pretty sure I'm in the 25 to 30k range of summons. So. <laughs> well, that's a great place to leave it. Uh, thank you, Ray. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your acute knowledge of this, but your general expertise. And everyone, look forward to seeing Ray very, very shortly. We're filming another video tomorrow. So good luck at work, man. Thanks, buddy. Have a good day. You too. Take care, everyone. Okay, folks, so I just filmed my full breakdown of Falsia into her skills, her gearing, her artifacts. We tested her out in Guild Boss. It was a turned out to be a pretty deep dive. Uh, so I've decided this is going to be part one. Stay tuned only like an hour or two, and out will come part two, where you get that proper Falsia spotlight. Otherwise, this video would be way too long. So again, a huge thank you to Ray. Uh, super helpful. I'm really excited for the event. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Share with your mother. I've been fastidious. I'll see you in the next one. Fastidious.